Well, that was a good episode. I just finished watching Steven Universe's Beach City Horror Club, which proves I am personally against filler episodes, and I sometimes hate them. However, I'm honestly not even a big fan of Adventure Time's filler episodes. I want a good story to go with my cartoons, but there is one cartoon that has filler down pat. It's Steven Universe. Steven Universe and Gravity Falls, which is going to be another show I'm going to start picking up doing reviews for, um, are very, very similar. Like, both shows know how to filler right. Um, filler um, is more about, um, see, filler is a break from the plot. Filler, um, filler, though, is not an excuse for just a comedic episode. If you do that, that's bad filler. Steven Universe understands something that most cartoons do not. They understand how to put some real character development into it. For this episode, what I liked is, so, what's interesting is we knew that Steven had a growing friendship with Ronaldo and Lars and Sadie. Both haven't subplot, both haven't um, really met yet, and we finally get to see some great reactions in this episode. I'll t definitely tell you that I love this episode. It's not as it's not as strong as uh, on the run, but it's that. But on filler side, I'd say it's my favorite filler episode, other than Coach Steven. Um, what it? So let's talk about the plot. So Steven's um outside the big donut with um, and then so Lars and Sadie come out. And so we find out that Lars doesn't really like Ronaldo and thinks he's a little weird. Personally, Ronaldo, up until this point, has not been a character I truly liked. He was a moderate character, but other than that, I um, don't like him. But, you know, I just found a growing fondness for the character after this episode. You wanna know why? Um, He's not overly geeky. Uh, well, no, he's overly geeky, but he represents geek culture pretty much. Even the message or, or part was hilarious for me. Um, so anyway, so they go to the um, lighthouse and watch pro presumably like this teddy bear movie. Um, and so from that point, they um, they rather they enjoy. Um, Stephen's hiding for that. Then. The power goes out, and all of a sudden, the episode takes a good, darker turn. One thing I like about any Cartoon Network show, it, and Gravity Falls is also a part of this, um, and Cora also falls under this. They're not afraid to go into that dark territory. Nickelodeon shows, Spongebob, Sunday and Craig, Breadwinners, etc. Those shows, oh, and Phineas and Ferb is included with that, but despite admi liking that show. Um, they are... are Nickelodeon and those in certain Disney cartoons, um, there's a barrier. They will not, they will not cross that barrier. Um, and it's because those ones are mainly for little kids uh, compared to these shows. Like Adventure Time is for tweens and early teens. I mean, I'm an early teen and I watch Adventure Time. And Steven Universe, I do not have a huge fondness for regular show, though. I even like Clarence. Um, but, so, as we continue, so they're going down stairs, and these, like, um, ghost, um, we possess creatures barge in, and Steven holds his own, which I like. I mean... At the start of the series, Steven was not really, really able to hold his own. Um, but Finn was, which is one thing I like about Steven much better than Finn. Steven has evolved into that character who can hold his own. Um, and that's something that I um, admire about this show. Um, and, yeah. Um, so, and they go to go down, and Sadie gets sucked in to this thing. I'll get to the minor details 
And so, um, Stephen, um, so they rescue Sadie. Stephen holds his own again, which I like is, he wasn't, he, let me just say, he was not the main focus of this. It was the relationship between Ronaldo and Lars. Um, and so, um, once Stephen holds his own, um, and fights off against it, he finds a gem. The gem projects a hologram of... Lars and Ronaldo were good friends. You know, I admire this. I'm going to say that Lars is a geekish type, I think, too. Um, he's not part of the cool kids, which makes me seem, huh, he's got to be a little unique. I mean, he's definitely quirky in some ways. Um, and so, let me just think. Yeah, so, um... It shows that Ronaldo and Lars used to be great friends, it seems. It was so cute, the little flashback. Um, and so, um, um, and so after that, um, Ronaldo and Lars, um, so Ronaldo captured an embarrassing photo of Lars, and Lars ripped it up, which ended pretty much their friendship. The gem was pretty impressive to watch show that. And the music in the background, oh my goodness, I could gush over that music for hours. I love every single bit of audio in Steven Universe. The voice acting is great. The songs are amazing. And, um, and the background music is amazing as well. It's, it's even something I had to listen to on my own. So, yeah, um, another thing I'll point out is... I love how they do this. Like, Sadie and Lars are obviously a couple, in my opinion. And I think of things a lot like Steven sometimes, so... They're a lot like a little married couple. And so, um... And so after the, that, um... So Ronaldo seems to be developing a crush on Sadie. Which is pretty admirable, too, because Ronaldo and Lars are a lot alike. They're both some of the older males that Steven knows in life, in the city. Um, both are very geekish in their own ways. Ronaldo's more of the YouTube geek type, and um, Lars is more of that, you know, that kid who, um, he's not really athletic. He, um... He just is, he seems a little bit like um, one of those geeks. He might play a small sport. Um, I'm a mixture of both of those in my geeky type. Like, I play tennis. Um, but, um, but I'm a lot like Ronaldo. I mean, you see me on YouTube. I, I don't just, I can't even believe how strong this show is. Especially since, um, since what I hate about how Cartoon Network does this is they air Teen Titans Go before the new episode, a repeat of it. It makes them seem like kids really want Teen Titans Go. They don't want a show like Steven Universe that has in-depth characters and, um, a powerful, powerful message at times. They would rather have non-stop comedy and no quality. Yeah. But I'll tell you, that's my review for this week. Um, I will, I'll do my best to get a video out next week, but I cannot promise you that, that I'll do an, ep an episode review immediately next week. I might be waiting a little bit, but hey, this one was immediate. Um, on the run was immediate. So, well, see you later, guys, and have a great day. Oh, I have to mention something. So two things. I am get I guest starred um last week on US and Friends and I'll probably become I might become a regular in that that it's amazing, it's a group of kids um that just or teens that gather and enjoy it. We we talk and we do cover things from Gravity Falls to Gary's mod. Uh, um so yeah. Well, That'll be the news for this week. I'll be in New York next week. And I might have some footage of what I found and saw. So, that's it for this week. For the f f for a uh, final time, the Lord is 